Hey guys, this video is brought to you by AerospacePal.com. We deliver free content tailored specifically to the aerospace community. Come check out the site. This video goes over a voltage spike of DO160 section 17. This test we're going to inject or induce a voltage spike on the equipment's power line to determine if the EUT will be upset or damaged by this transient. Now the purpose of this test is to simulate other EUTs load switching that may cause a voltage spike on a shared power line. Now there's just two categories for this section, CAT A and CAT B. CAT A is tested to 600 volts, where CAT B is just two times the line voltage RMS or 200 volts, whichever is the lesser of the two. The calibration for this test is pretty simple. Use the voltage spike generator to achieve the category level by injecting on open circuit. Then inject on a 50 ohm dummy load to achieve 50% of the category level. All this does is to ensure the generator has a source impedance of around 50 ohms. Use the test setup shown here, just adding an injection transformer in line with the EUT's power line. When testing, apply at least 50 positive pulses in less than a minute using the generator level established during calibration. Then apply 50 negative pulses in less than a minute. It's not required, but it's a good idea to monitor your EUT's line with the voltage monitor during this test. Testing houses usually set the pulses at one per second for ease of testing. This section doesn't specify your EUT mode of operation. However, to be safe, typically run in all modes of operation, unless you can easily justify that all modes will be impacted in the same manner. The acceptance criteria for voltage spike is a little unclear, and that's because different products have different acceptance criteria for this test. Typically, if you're a critical or semi-critical system, this is an upset tolerance test, and performance shall be maintained during the test. For other equipment, ensure that your EUT is not damaged during the test and passes all acceptance criteria after the test is performed. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found this informative, interesting, or just better than reading a 500 page standard, stop back at aerospacepal.com and tell other engineers about this free resource. Don't have a copy of D160? Check out the link below.